Are you ready to break the game? Well, after 150 hours of playing the game, I feel confident in the builds I came up with that I know you'll love them. I'll be breaking down the build by each materia so you could piece it together wherever you're at in the game. So with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? The first material you'll need is First Strike. You could obtain your first one in Combat Simulator, Grasslands Battle Intel, Horror on the Range, and your second one from Battle Intel, Flower of Destruction. First Strike is vital in this build as it lets us start the battle with one ATB right away. To take advantage of this free ATB, we'll want to use ATB boost from Chadley in the Corel region. This doubles the current ATB you have, so with one ATB, it'll be turned into two ATB. Now that we have some ATB to mess around with, you'll want the enemy skill Plasma Discharge from Chadley's Combat Simulator, Biological Intel Blinded by Light. Plasma Discharge does area of effect damage around the user's hitbox, and every time you gain an ATB segment, it'll activate again. This is a lot of free damage for one ATB usage. It also gets a ton of free stats, as you can see. Now that we know we should be aiming to get our ATB as quick as possible, the time material looks very enticing. This grants the target haste, which doubles our speed, to get our ATB quicker. You can first obtain this materia in Costa del Sol's Pirate's Rampage minigame. The effect is too good to just use on one person, so we'll give it to the whole party with Magnify. The first one you could get permanently is from Kate Sit when he joins your party. You could get another one from a side quest in Chapter 12. Now that we'll be getting our ATB faster, we'll be doing more actions to cost ATB, so we'll want Skill Master. We could get this from Chadley in the Cosmo Canyon region. Skill Master gives us a free ATB every time we do 3 unique ATB commands. Seeing we'll be using a ton of ATB, it's good to assume we'll stagger our enemy much easier, so ATB stagger sounds like a good idea. You can get this from Chadley in the Junon region. This gives us a free ATB every time we stagger an enemy. With all this ATB, this build seems godly enough, but this game only provides us with a few of these materia, unlike Remake, so our allies won't be getting as much ATB as the main user will. That's where ATB assist comes into play. You can get this from Chadley in the Nibble region. This materia gives our allies a free ATB every time we use ATB back to back. The window is very generous, and I rarely found myself not activating this. The last materia to help increase our ATB charge rate will be Speed Up. You can get this from Chadley's Gungaga Battle Intel rooted in the planet. Speed increases how fast the ATB charges on its own for anyone who doesn't know. Now that we established our ATB, we'll want to do more damage to kill our enemies swiftly. Elemental Materia allows us to get free damage every time we attack. You could obtain the first one from the Junon region, Battle Intel Conqueror of the Skies, and the second one from Gungaga Battle Intel Distant Tremors. Every time you attack, you get an additional hit. Pay attention to what your enemy is weak to and link that element with Elemental for quicker kills. Most of the damage will be done based on our attack stat, so why not boost it some more with Strength Up Materia? You could get this from Chadley's Core Battle Intel, Sand Slitters. To ensure we'll be doing the most damage possible on our abilities, we'll want Dark Side. You can get this from Chadley in the Nibble region. Dark Side allows us to do more damage for a cost of our HP. Every time you use an ability, you'll lose 5% HP, but you'll do 20% more damage. This may not sound that appealing to some, but I have yet to die using this build. Just for safety reasons, I do run HP Absorption. You can get this from Chadley in the Corel region. This link to the enemy skill allows you to heal every time you Plasma Discharge to offset the lifesteal from Dark Side. To guarantee our survivability, I use the last materia slots for defensive options. Steadfast Block is my go-to survival material, as it not only reduces the damage I take, but it also fills the ATV gauge. Blocking can be pretty tight on some attacks, and that's where Precision Defense Focus comes into play. It allows us to block easier while filling the enemy's stagger gauge. If you don't have the materia slots for everything, then don't worry. You will get these accessories in Chapter 13. As for accessories, the best one you could use for this build is Corsair's Compass. You can get this by gathering all of the pirate's treasure and crafting it. You'll know when this becomes available as there's a treasure map on Costa del Sol after a cutscene. This splits our ATB segment into three parts like the Synergy skill United Refocus whenever we use 5 ATB commands. The reason splitting ATB segments is so helpful is because the two ATB segments by default cost 1000 to fill. So 2 ATB is 2000, but if we split that into 3, it's now 667. 
This allows us to fill the ATB quicker, which activates Plasma Discharge more often, lets us proc ATB Assist and Skill Master too. It's just fantastic all around! For anyone who isn't this far but still wants to use this build, then use Speed Demon Keychain. I use this for this build up to this point. You get this by just playing the game, so everyone should have this. As for weapons, pick the one that has the most materia slots, then the highest strength. For weapon skills, you're looking for anything offensive, like attack power, magic attack power, weapon ability damage, attack damage, and ATB charge up. Obviously, anything unique to the character that helps their kit out more. Now you're probably wondering, who uses this build the best? Well, this build works best on Cloud, as he's the only one with an offensive skill to replenish his ATB. I use this on Tifa because I love her, even though she got nerfed. Other characters that could use this build are Yuffie and Kate Sith, as Brumal Form and Dodge and Dive respectively refunds an ATB segment if they avoid damage with this ability like Tifa's Focus Strike. The reason Cloud uses this the best is he doesn't need to avoid damage because he has Disorder. At first glance, Disorder may seem mad, as it just swaps the stance and does some damage. On further inspection, you could see it actually refunds some ATB, so this can be used when an enemy is staggered to pump out even more damage. Barret and Eret aren't advised to use this build, as they have no such tools in their kit to generate ATB quickly, but you can use it if you really like them. Now that you know who should be using this build, what should your allies be using? Let's go over the ally who has Time and Magnify. We'll want them to have the second ATB boost, ATB stagger, and first strike. To help them do more damage, they can get the second elemental with the elements of the enemy you're going against. Since they'll be using the time material, we'll want them to have an MP pool to do so, and MP up increases that by 30%. I like this character to be healthy, so HP up increases their HP by 30%. They also get the combo with Combo Steed Fast Block and Precision Defense Focus as the AI that controls the character are actually good at using it. This character can use any weapon and accessory you feel like they need as you do have two material slots open, which I'll cover in a bit. Now who can use this build the best? Well, anyone can as they're just here to support and their stats don't matter. For the third character however, their stats do matter and you should only be using it on a magic build character like Aerith, Cloud, or Yuffie as they have the highest magic stat in that order. We want them to have the most magic because they'll be using the buff synergy from Integrated. For those of you who didn't play Remake, this material was really bad, but it did get buffed in the DLC and I'm so glad they kept it this way. Synergy allows the user with this materia to do any attack spell whenever the leader uses ATB command. This causes no ATB or MP which is beyond broken. I usually slap Comet as the Link spell, but if you're fighting an enemy that's weak to an element, then use that instead. You could acquire this materia from Chadley in the Cosmo Canyon region. Magic up because we want them to pump out the most damage possible, and this increases that stat by 25%. You can get this from Chadley's Cosmo Battle Intel, anti diluvian Memories. Since they'll have the highest magic stat in the party, I put the healing materia with Magnify on them so they could top up the party whenever we need it. To ensure they have the most MP to do so, MP up is used again. They also have the standard core of HP up, Steedfast block, and precision defense focus. This leaves a handful of slots open, which I'll cover in a second. They'll want the weapon with the most magic stats for obvious reasons. For accessories, enhanced physic charm is the best as it increases their MP pool, magic stat, and grants them silence so they could always cast their magic. And the weapon skills they're looking for is any of the elemental ups if you're fighting an enemy weak to a specific element. Magic attack power up, altruistic buff up, debuff extension, altruistic recovery 10%, MP recovery rate up, or ATB charge rate up. Any of these serve this character well. Now you're probably wondering why I said altruistic buff up or debuff extension. That's because with the open material slots, we'll want to have empowerment for bravery or fate, or innervation for de-protect or de-shell to help our allies do more damage. You could split this with the other character. Another OP combo you could use with the remaining material slots and support characters are Enhanced Expeditionary Metal, which allows that character to use their level 3 limit break without having to do synergy abilities. All they have to do is fill the limit break gauge. They'll want limit siphon materia from Chadley in the Gungaga region. This allows you to absorb an ally's limit gauge and fuel yours. 
The other support character should have Goddard Demerung on, which can be obtained from Chadley's brutal battle, Rulers of the Outer World. Goddard Demerung fills the character's limit break gauge at the start of battle. You can have your imagination go wild with all the possibilities here. Now that we have assembled the god build for each character, I'll do a little demonstration for those of you who like a visual. When you go into battle, you'll want the leader to be the main damage dealer, which was the first build we cover. Start off by using ATB boost and then popping plasma discharge. You'll want to swap to the other ally who has ATB boost and use theirs too. They'll then want to use haste on the whole party and then from here you could do as you please. If you're controlling Cloud, then a Disorder opens up a combo since the Magic character will now follow up with Synergy. If you're controlling the second best options with Tifa, Yuffie, or Kate Sith, then they'll want to wait until an enemy is about to hit them, and then use their dodge ability to refund ATB, and then you go to work. I sometimes ignore that though if I know the enemy's attack pattern, and I'll start off with an overpower to let the chaos ensue. When you know the enemy will take a while to die, then set up Dark Side when you have the moment to do so. Your other allies should be using Empowerment and Invigoration as the Stagger Gauge gets closer to filling. If you're using Aerith, use her first ATB on Radiant Ward as Comet has a long cast times and enemies can interrupt her. This will grant her invincibility when she's casting. Once you get this build down, she'll be dropping meteors like crazy while in the comfort of her ward. When an enemy stagger, try and get the multipliers up if you're using Tifa with her unique attack or true strike. Aerith's Ray of Judgment or Kate sits Moogle Knuckle so your party does more damage. Hopefully you feel confident finishing off any fight you have left and going into hard mode. If there's any unanswered questions, then ask down below. And if you haven't maxed out your materia yet, then consider checking out my spoiler free AP farming guide right here. Until the next video, I'll see ya.